What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I want to give you guys as many tips as possible on how to get the most XP as you can out of this season of my team. Now, as you guys can see, I am level 23 and I have not played in three days. I have not touched this game. I've not done any challenges in three days. All I've done is played online. I've played unlimited days. It. And I, have, I did it before. Actually, if we go to the challenges now, I actually did it before these challenges came out here. So I have not played since these have been out. I've barely touched domination. I've barely done all that. And I'm level 23. And there is a few tips I can give you guys which will skyrocket your XP by a lot. Now, a challenge in particular that I've seen a lot of people getting worried over is his 23 pointers in a single game with Dwayne Wade, all right? Now, there is the new set of domination that have came out. The uh, These mystery dominations. We can see it here. You have to kind of glitch your way over there. There we go. A lot of people are struggling with these games. What you don't realize, you don't have to play mystery domination to get this challenge unlocked go to current domination and play a rookie game you can shoot from half court with any Dwayne Wade card and get 20 people think immediately that if they see these challenges where it says get uh, get you know get a certain amount of uh, points in a game with the taker or a certain amount of points in the game with the domination you have to go to the mystery domination because they just came out you can do this on rookie domination and there's another one here as well which I'm uh, currently doing is the Mark Eaton one I you have to get six 60 points in the game. Go into a rookie game and get it in one single game. That's a thousand XP in a single game. And if you manage it, I didn't do it because I wasn't trying as hard and I had a few other challenges I was doing. But if you go in and you can get 23s in the first, nearly the first quarter, even uh, definitely the first half with this Dwayne Wade, and then go for 60 and uh, try your best to go for 60 with Mark Eaton. That's 2000 XP. And if we look straight away, right, if we look at 2000 XP, that'll get you right up to nearly level. 12 in one game. It is so easy to get XP. You all, The best thing I can recommend is to write down all the challenges that you want to do. Don't do all of the challenges. Don't do, write down all these. Write down the challenges that you have A, for the cards, and B, that you can do in a single game. So for me, I went through, and I always go through and do, I, I don't spend money on packs. You guys know that I have 50 KMT, so it's definitely not a lot, to, it's definitely not enough to buy these cards, but the best thing you can do is buy cards like I've got this Lionel Simmons and as soon as I'm done with him sell him back get the MT for that and I'll all I'll have the XP challenges done I'll have that done but then I can also earn a lot more MT to buy these more expensive cards doing this is the easiest way to get level 40 okay I've been playing my team for one season right on, on next gen I've played for one season I got David Robinson I have not spent a dime on this game I'm telling you right now I've not spent a dime on this game this is my lineup at the moment it's not the best you can have but for a no money spent I'm very very happy with it all right a lot of free cards here obviously we've got David Robinson so I'm very excited to add this JR when I get him but a lot of these games here you can just stack XP and if you don't know what I mean by stacking XP is get a lot of these done in a row so say you're going triple threat online you can play five you get 500 XP from doing that in those games play with Mark Eaton play with Lionel Simmons get those layups done and stack the XP on top of each other that way you're not focusing on one specific group you can get multiple done at once same with the domination as you get through those domination games yes you have to play mystery for this I'm pretty actually I'm not a hundred percent sure you might have to you could actually play rookie domination but I'm pretty sure you have to play mystery for this go on mystery and do the easiest mode if you're not going for stars just simply play on pro difficulty all right, it is so much easier. And at the same time, while you're doing that on pro difficulty, it's going to be so much easier to shoot. Get that, get the Sean Elliott in there. Get the Eric Blunso when you get to him. Chuck those guys in the domination. Not only will you get the, the XP from these guys, but you'll also get the XP from the domination, which is 250 a game. And then when you reach 15 and 20, you're getting 2,500 a game, which is a lot of XP. So guys, there is, there is a lot of ways that you can, there's a lot of ways that people aren't understanding about this season, especially in XP in general. Just stack your XP as much as you can, but also don't take these challenges too literally. Alright? The, the best thing to do, if you see card that is like the Mark Eaton that I've got to do, get 60 points in a domination game. Now, these challenges, as I said before, came out with Mystery Dom. The first thing you think of is that it has to be done in Mystery Dom. It doesn't at all. Go to Rookie Domination and do them. It is so, so straightforward, I cannot explain it. Um, because this has been a, a bit of a short video, I really wanted to get this out there because there's a few people 
that are actually asking in live streams and stuff like that that there, there is there's a lot of things you can do that can make sure you get the best like the best XP for your game time you don't want to be spending too many times in games do not focus on one challenge and go out and do it stack the challenges another thing that I, I've seen a lot of people not do say here for with Chris Paul you have to get 20 assists over multiplayer games go into a triple throw online game which you get a hundred XP for and then put him next to a Lionel Simmons get 20 layups I'm gonna get 11 more if I get 11 in a single game which is possible 11 times 2 is 22 you get 11 layups with Lionel Simmons which is 800 XP you then get what 11 assists with Chris Paul which is more than half which is nearly a 1250 XP plus the 200 that you sorry plus the 100 that you get from each triple throw online game it is that simple just work it out look at these take them don't don't just look at them as individual challenges look at how you can stack them same with unlimited say you did an unlimited you can get that done in one game 20 assists with chris paul that's tw that's that's a 1250 xp plus 800 for lionel simmons plus 250 for an unlimited game it is simple stuff like that which will make sure you get the best xp possible so guys very short video i'm pretty sure it's pretty short it's around seven minutes long but i appreciate you guys watching if you did enjoy please leave a thumbs up and any other xp tips you have leave them down below in the comments and let me know what level you guys are as of right now viewing this video and i'll see you guys in the next video or on my next live stream peace